Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Elite Chronicles with your host, BuckRabbit. And today, we're going to leave the protected systems and uh, head out into the wide bubble area, out of here anyway, because I've come to the conclusion that um, there's nothing really here for me now. So, before I leave, I, I went round and picked up all of these missions, which entail me to go and explore the galaxy. So I picked up all of these because they all pay around the 100,000 credit mark. So that's what we're going to do. And the first one we're going to go to is go to the galaxy map. And I'm going to head out to this unpronounceable one. But that's the closest. So we're going to head out there and hopefully pick up some better equipment for the ship but we're gonna leave here we go so I've spent a little bit of time doing courier runs and small cargo transfers to build up a bit of bank before we head out but essentially we're going to leave the protected systems and once we do leave them we can never come back so I've sold up all of my stuff I left my side wound here obviously because we're going out in the Cobra we're going to stop off at E Cattle or A Cattle make it that what you will But we're on our way. Let's get well away from the station. So we can get a good alignment on the jump. And it's bye bye protected systems. Because as soon as we dock at any of these stations, that's it. We can't go back. start descanning. We I mean, should really get into the habit of descanning every system anyway. And there we go. We're going to my big station. Still got the super cruiser this, so we might as well use it. But hopefully we'll have much better modules and we can start to upgrade our Cobra. So as a seasoned player, I got somewhat upset about the fact that the protected systems doesn't give you enough modules. They certainly don't give you decent mining modules or weapons or frameshift drives or anything really. So best thing for you to do is just leave. Once you've built up a bit of bank and a bit of confidence, uh, it's not really an issue. I will be doing these missions uh, to explore the galaxy and that should give me some nice money one of the things we are going to pick up is a fuel scoop hopefully they sell them here but I think they do sell them at the other station in this system but we'll see what's available when we get here it'll mean losing a bit of cargo rack but hey, can't have everything it's only a little ship Oh, something different. In the start of our exploration. Still using auto dock. There's nothing wrong with using auto dock. Don't let anyone tell you any different. 
It's only, the only time I ever take them off is when uh, I need room for something else. That's right, it gives you a little break. You make coffee, drink coffee. Right, let's see what we got. Oh, what's that? Let's go to the comms panel. District permit removed. <laughs> there we go, we cannot go back. The Pilots Federation wishes you luck on your new way, new journey through the stars. As you have progressed beyond the requirements for access to the Pilots Federation space, your Pilots Federation district permit has been revoked. Any ships or modules currently located within the district must be transferred to a station of your choice at your request. The galaxy awaits. Fly safe, Commander. So there we go. Uh, we can't go back. <laughs> well, we're out in the big black now. So we'll just complete that mission. So like I said, we're going to do a couple of little upgrades if possible. Straight into outfitting. outfitting. First thing we're going to do is get rid of these pulse lasers. I hope. No beam lasers here, but they might have some multi cannons that we can use. Oh, yes, much better. So, we're going to buy some 2F multi cannons. Get rid of these pulse lasers. Don't need them anymore. And another one. Gimbaled. And there we go. We're much better in the way of aggression now. Right, first core internal we're going to see if we can upgrade is the FSD. Hopefully they got a 4A. They do. How much is that? 1.6 million. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll sell the one we've got. And that now gives us a jump range of 22. But we've only got a million credits. And we do need a fuel scoop. We're not going to be able to get a full blown 4. So let's just get a 2 for now. Get a 2A fuel scoop. That's just to keep us out of trouble. We're not going anywhere particularly far. So we should be okay with that. That leaves us 735,000. Uh, we will see if we can upgrade this planetary vehicle hangar. Because they only had 2 H's. Yeah, there we go. 2 G's. It's a bit more in the power is unfortunate but it is significant but it's half the weight so we'll get 23 in our jump range as you can see at the bottom there but we will need to upgrade the power plant I think we might leave that for now let's see what power plant we've, they've got core internal power plant we've got 4D there and um, got 4A, but it's insufficient credits. But look at the amount of stuff I can have. Yeah, it's 1.4 million. So we'll come back to that. But for now, we'll just stick with what we've got. We've got a decent frame shift drive now and a fuel scoop. So now we need to do, do our rounds and go around these other exploring the galaxy missions. Uh, let's just see which one is closer. 
Okay, so we've got HR 8061. So we can do those in a kind of loop. Because there is one up there, Daha Deti. So let's go to HR 8061. Is there another one though? We will check that, but we'll keep that as a route. Let's see if there's another mission in this system. Yes, there is. Excellent. So let's go there. We'll go there first, and then we'll continue on our little run rampage. I think potentially I picked up two missions per system. in the queue. <laughs> Bye! Could do with new thrusters, actually. But, we'll just have to wait for those. Now that frame shift inhibited is due, probably due to a large ship in the vicinity. to Ivani Shin Market. Like I say, we've got the uh, infamous Super Cruise Assist, so we might as well use it while we've got it. We will get rid of it eventually. The only problem with the Super Cruise Assist is it usually gives you sort of half throttle. But you will always arrive at your destination most of the time. Sometimes your target will inexplicably go behind a planet and drop you out on top of the planet. out of those protected systems I feel free free as a bird now and all we need to do is work on our money and then we'll work on our ship getting it better and better in terms of modules and eventually we'll get up to engineering probably the first thing we'll do is head over to our squadron home system because I'm familiar with every, all of the things over there all of the facilities and locations. And it's good to be amongst friends. But it is my aim not to take any handouts on this account. I mean, I can quite easily go over to Soundy. And one of the guys there will quite happily give me a few tons of low temperature diamonds to sell. But that will give me uh, a, an un, not an unwelcome leg up, but a leg up. And I, I did miss out on a bit of gameplay last time. Because of that leg up that I received on the last account. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Especially if you want something real fast, like I did at the time. But at the moment, I'm quite happy to just troll around in the Cobra. I think the next ship will probably be a Diamondback Explorer. to jump around and explore and gather mats and get the requirements for uh, engineers.
I do like all the voice acting that they got on the uh, announcements. We definitely need more accents though. I think there's one American guy. Uh, there's sort of a Russian guy. Um, some Indian lady. So, you know, they could do with more, I think. More voices, that's what we want. Right, again. Let's just turn in this Explore the Galaxy mission. Because that will give us another 100,000 credits. We have a message. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically just saying about the training training handbook and federation handbook. So, uh, we just need to work out where we're going next. Uh, that's Daha Desi. That's going to be the last one we go to. So, next one is HR8061. That's where we're going next. Which we've already got plotted. I think we need significantly more money before we start going into outfitting again. At least we have better weapons now. So if we do get interdicted. Ideally I re should really be looking for missions heading in that direction. But uh, for now I just want to get these missions off the board. Because we will be heading over to Soundsy after I've got them all. And away we go. Wait for the mass lock to go off. And jump. And remember to honk the system as soon as you arrive. system a honk. We'll look for where we're supposed to be landing. That's bow and dock. Set the suit cruise assist and sit back and relax. Oops, 7,000. Is there anywhere else in this system we need to land? Yes, yeah, Fremont gateway. gateway. One at a time. This is what the Super Cruise Assist was really designed for. You know, locations which are quite very, well, quite far away. And you can just point your ship at them and just leave it. And it gives us an opportunity to scan ships on the way. And hopefully, get a scan or two. Nothing from you. Well, usually 7,000 light seconds won't take that long. It's when it's in the hundreds, that's when it takes a little bit of a time. And the music's actually pretty good as well. The overall ambiance and sound design of Elite Dangerous has always impressed me.
Nope, still no more ships. What you will find is that as you approach a dock, the closer you get, the more ships there will be. And that's where you uh, start scanning. To get all of those lovely, lovely data scans. Which you're going to need later. Trust me. Come, there's an eagle. No scan from you. I did pick up quite a few of these. So we'll be at this for quite a while. Where's that one? That's the Vero and the system. But all of this should give me about 800,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, 800,000 there. 800,000 credits, nothing to be sniffed at. Oh, there's Type 6. Percy Small Holding. All the names, some of the names are just hilarious. Smug. Darren. You alright, Darren? Mikael? Federal Security Service Python. Oh, that was nice. Untypical shield scans. Inconsistent shield soak analysis. Nice. Uh, we're probably going to miss that one, but I don't want to uh, untarget or detarget. What's the correct term? That's it. Detarget, isn't it? Asp Explorer. Walker out there somewhere. And essentially, once you leave the protected systems and you've done these missions, that's when you'll be able to plot a course wherever you want to go. Like I say, I do have an aim, but if you don't have an aim, don't worry about it. This is a sandbox, you can go where you want, do what you want. You can sit in amongst the systems and just do just do missions. Or you can go mining. Or you can go exploring. Just pick a spot in the galaxy map and away you go. Red one. Delacy, Bravo, Uniform, Charlie. Submit a docking request before attempting to land at this federal station. There we go. Access granted. Proceed to landing pad zero six. So I'm going to be doing this another eight times. So what I'll do is I'll end this video here, which is more of the same. So I'll end this episode here. And uh, I will catch up with you on the next episode, where we'll be doing mapping across the galaxy. So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Fly safe, commanders.